Luckily, everybody bought that Frank was dead and that I had disposed of his body. So Frank's funeral took place without Frank. The Mafia has a habit of organizing grand funerals for important people, where they forget the unfinished business they have with each other, or with the dead. The deceased are only shown in a good light. It's the principle of every gangster, at least at a funeral. So it happened that not only Salieri and our people made long speeches about their best friend Frank, but even Morello and other gangsters. Morello and Salieri cried on each other's shoulders. It didn't seem like they had been at each other's throats only the day before. Frank would have been spinning in his grave had he actually been dead. I guess everything turned out pretty well, only I had to think up something about Frank's family. Salieri, of course, wanted to help out his best friend's poor widow till the end of her days. I couldn't let him know that they were really resting comfortably in Europe at that moment. Tommy, it seems our problems aren't over. The prosecutor who nearly got Frank against us is digging up more dirt, and I've heard he even has witnesses. It looks like that counselor whose son you shot is sorely craving revenge. The prosecutor is a good friend of his, and if we don't nip it in the bud, they'll make big problems for us. That doesn't sound too good. What's even worse is that guy doesn't trust anyone. He has all the evidence against us in a safe at his villa. Sam and Paulie are taking care of the witnesses right now as we speak. And you've got to get that evidence, Tom. How will we get to it? Well, today we have an excellent opportunity. Mr. Prosecutor has decided to go to the theater, and nobody else will be home. That is, nobody apart from the home security, of course. But his study will be empty. His villa is in the millionaire's quarter. Mr. Prosecutor isn't exactly a poor boy. Thanks, Luigi. Your only concern is how to get in. But there'll be guards around the villa. Once inside, you should be fine. The villa will be empty. The prosecutor's office is on the first floor, and there should be a safe in the wall. For that, you'll have Salvatore with you. That's a guy who manages to open every safe in America. Once you've got all the evidence, leave before the prosecutor arrives back home. Okay, boss. Where can I find this Salvatore? He'll be waiting for you down in Hoboken on the corner next to the stadium. So you can pick him up on the way there. I don't have to tell you how important this job is to us, Tommy. Buona fortuna. I'll do my best, boss. And Tommy. If you happen to bump into the prosecutor, don't kill him, no matter what. It'll just bring us more problems. You can depend on it, boss. Good evening, Vincenzo. Tonight I'm doing a little burglary, so I need something for a quiet little job. Tommy, a good old bat would do the trick. When you hit someone over the head from behind, they should be out cold for a while. To be on the safe side, take this here Colt 1911 too. I'll keep my fingers crossed, Tommy. Thanks, Vincenzo.
Evening, Chief. Let's get moving. Great. So where are we going? So, you can open any safe in the country, right? Almost every one, Chief. And how did you learn that trick? My grandpa was in a business. It's inherited. The safes keep getting better, so a fella has to keep up with the times. Some of the safes around these days are pretty tricky. Okay, we're here. Can you open it, Salvatore? I'll try, Chief. There you go, Chief. do exactly what I tell you.
So show me what you can do, Salvatore. Okay, Chief. It looks like we better get out fast, Salvatore. Got it, Chief. Piece of cake. Drop me off at home. I live across the street at the stadium, a little ways from where you picked me up. where I live. Thanks a lot. I hope it'll be a little cooler next time. Today I almost crapped in my pants. I hope so too. Get some shut-eye. 